Stephen Newley. I'm an artist, painter, and this is my studio. I come from a, a theatrical family, a family of performers. My father, specifically, was an actor, a stage actor, and had an extremely expressive face. And so I remember really from the earliest age being very beguiled by the expressive power of his face. And I think that was the beginning of my interest in faces. It would probably have to do with the subjects that I've managed to paint and capture who have agreed to sit for me. For instance, Christopher Reeve, um, the actor and activist who tragically had um, an accident and he was paralyzed from the neck down and I did three portraits of him shortly before he died um, and the amazing thing was that they were then accepted into the Smithsonian the National Portrait Gallery so I guess that was the sort of for me that was a high point having those paintings going to that museum and then actually going and visiting the museum and seeing the paintings on permanent display that was you know, hanging next to war holes and things like that. It was really an amazing moment for me. I do think that um, story is enormously important for all artists, whether they be writers or dancers or sculptors or what have you. In fact, story is important for every human being. We, we live according to our own story, our own narrative, our own belief in who we are. And we construct a self according to those beliefs. And I think we all see ourselves as variously the hero of our own life or victimized by certain forces and so on. I think if you don't, your life gets rather boring. I mean, you've got to kind of conceive of story to give your life meaning and structure. You don't go into art because it's a good career choice. It isn't a good career choice, children. <laughs> it's um, dangerous and you get lost and um, you are trying to find your own path to hack your own way through the jungle. You can't walk in anybody else's shoes. You can be influenced by other artists, but ultimately you have to find your own way or your art's worthless. We are currently being bedazzled and bamboozled and seduced by technology. And technology has invaded art in a very big way and made it its own. I mean, if you look at the amount of CGI in films now, um, the amount of animators working in film, um, my concern and my worry is that we've become, we move away from a tactile making of art and we move into an area where we, we are wedded to the computer and as powerful as the computer is and as marvelous and mind expanding and extraordinary as it is there's something missing in the creative process as mediated through technology the oceans in particular are being you know decimated um, you know, we, we are still completely rapacious in our appetites and um, even with, you know, global warming and all the alarm bells and the canary dead in the coal mine, we still seem to, to be behaving in very irresponsible ways. It's, it's not easy to turn around an oil tanker, you know, I mean, that's a, the momentum of uh, our, our basic attitude to nature is at fault, I think, because we see ourselves as separate from nature, and therefore nature is something that we can control, own, profit from, and so on. And the reality is, of course, that we are nature. We are an outgrowth of nature. Um, and the more we get with that and feel that, not just intellectually, but really in the solar plexus. And I think art plays a huge role in connect, reconnecting us to nature and breaking down the mental resistance to that, the fact of that connection and communion.
the more we can get in touch with the reality of the fact that we are nature, the less we will destroy it. Um, so, there is not a single dimension of human experience that Shakespeare doesn't touch and celebrate and explore to the nth de degree. Love, comedy, tragedy, politics, history, uh, death psychology, joy, music, everything. He went everywhere. Um, he's like Homer, like Tolstoy, like Beethoven. He's one of those infinite artists whose work is really, you know, it, it really sums up the nature of being human. Take physics.